So we have our assembly process of the bar and the tripod taken care of here. Let's turn our attention to the laser tracker. In this instance, we're going to be using a Leica AT901 laser tracker. And for our purposes, it's the tracker we have available to us. Uh, but this system will work with any tracker you own. Uh, we like to say it's tracker agnostic, meaning that uh, it can be any make or model of tracker. Canary will work fine with that. So the tracker needs to be up and running, connected to the controller, uh, needs to be warmed up. We also have data acquisition software we're going to need over here on the computer. Again, we don't care what version of data acquisition software you're using. Uh, we just need to make sure that we can get some XYZ points to download into the canary analysis after we're done. Now we need to position the tracker relative to the bar. And there's four criteria that we need to manage with that. One is the bar needs to be nominally level, just visually level, and it's just eyeball level. And then we're going to make sure that the bar is at the same elevation as the tracker itself. We need to square the tracker up to the bar and as we do that we want to be sure it's pointing pretty much directly at the center of the bar which is target B. And then we also have to manage the distance between the tracker and the bar. So we'll begin that process here. We've already kind of taken care of the clocking of the bar for level when we locked it down. So what we want to do now is raise it up or lower it to bring it to the right elevation of the tracker. I'm going to work to set it to the right height relative to the tracker. So we just loosen up the bar. And I'm just coming down here. These are all just visual cues we're taking here. We're just making sure they're kind of eyeball correct for their, for their position. So if I come up, if I come down just a notch or two here, that looks pretty good. So I'll lock the stand back down to the tracker's perspective and take a look and see that, yeah, we're pretty much level with the tracker. That's good. And now I want to take the tracker and I'm going to just look through the assembly and set it so that we are pointing nominally square to the bar itself. Really looks like we're in pretty good shape. So I'll lock that back down and we're squared up. Uh, the component we need to do now is we need to actually make sure the tracker is the right distance from the bar. We have a tolerance on that of one meter plus or minus half a meter. So we've got a lot of room to move there. I'm going to go ahead and let the tracker tell me what that distance is because it is a distance measuring device. We're just going to go ahead and use it that way. So I'll set my SMR here in the bird bath. We'll home the tracker. And now it's up and running. And then we'll simply draw the SMR out to target B. And in my acquisition software, I have a utility called Live Data that will give me some raw information coming out of the tracker. And we said that we want to be one meter plus or minus half a meter. Well, we're at about 1,100 millimeters right now. I know that this particular tracker likes to be back in that range a little bit, just because when we take some low vertical shots, we want to be sure that the bird bath doesn't clip that measurement. So I'm going to go ahead and move that back a little bit here. So we'll just look at the computer, kind of pay attention to where our stand's moving, keep it centered up. I'm going to get back to about 1300 millimeters here is what I'm going to shoot for. That's pretty good. Looks like we're still fairly well centered up. Put the stand back down. Check our squareness here. Looks like we're in pretty good shape. So one more thing to be aware of when you're setting up your tracker is to make sure you install the weather station near the bar. If you look down here, we've got the weather station probe and we've got it connected near the bar and it's set up so it's just monitoring the temperature of the air in the environment of the bar. So now we have the bar has been installed and assembled. Our tracker's in the right location. We've got our software up and running. Uh, we've managed the geometry between the tracker and the bar. So we're ready to begin our measurement procedure. The measurement procedure that we're going to do is called the NIST IR8016 Laser Tracker Interim Field Test.
that's a mouthful, but it's a procedure that comes from NIST, the National Institute of Standards and Technology. So really they are the highest level of, level of authority of uh, calibration here in the United States. So they are the ones that created this procedure that we're going to follow. Uh, Brunson has provided the hardware and the software to do the analysis.